good barbecues and barbecuettes out there it's your boy mr b from backyard barbecue and today rolling into the fourth of july i am doing two pork butts and i figured you know what two pork butts got a couple of bags of charcoal and some lock coal why not hold on let me let you see why not test them both out for those that don't know this is my uh kamado Shout out to my man over here, Kick-Ass ba uh, Basket, over there. Uh, and I'm using my Smoky Mountain Weber today, too, y'all. This is the 18-and-a-half-inch one. Uh, for those that don't know, they come in a 22-inch and 18-and-a-half-inch. Uh, All right. But anyway, back to what we're going to do. Like I said, let me turn this around so, so y'all can see me a little bit. My little El Cheapo stand. I'm about to upgrade that. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one pork butt on each one. And we're going to see... Let me show y'all what I'm using. Using black cherry grilling chunks. These guys right here. Shout out to my boy Myron over there for putting me on that. And we're going to use a little bit of... Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the name on here for you guys. Pecan. Pecan wood. Got this from uh, one of the uh, propane stores that sell barbecue and stuff. So we're going to use some pecan and black cherry like i said on both of them same amount on both of them and we're gonna see which one gets the uh, uh the best quality piece of meat cooking uh we're gonna see how long it takes to cook on both i'll talk about that uh if you're in the business of getting one or the other or if you're on the fence of trying to get and see which one works better than the other how long they last stuff like that so we'll just talk as we're going through this cook cooking about 18 pounds of boston butt so you do the math that's about nine pounds each boston butt about the two pack and uh, we're just going to go for it, man. See which one does the best, man. So stay tuned. Uh, let's get to it. All right, y'all. We back. I just put the uh, Boston butts on the grill. And uh, on the grill. On the smokers. The Kamado. And the Smoking, Wild, Smoking Mountain Weber. Uh, let me show you something. Temps coming up. Uh, about 220, almost 250. Uh, key thing to note, you see the smoke, white smoke rolling. After the wood's burned out, then you'll get that thin blue smoke. But right now, you're going to get that smoke right now. You see the Weber over here. Let me show you the temp on that. Hovering around close to 250. Perfectly where I want them. Uh, put them on about 15 minutes ago. One thing to note, when you're cooking, you want your temp to be higher when you're putting big pieces of meat on your grill. I'm going to go ahead and open these, clear out some smoke real quick as I'm talking. Because what will happen is, as soon as you put a big piece of meat on there, it will uh, drop the temp. So you see I got my probes in there already. Normally I don't put them on in until uh, about four or five hours in the cook, but I want to watch these, right? Because I'm giving you guys a review, and I'm curious to know myself which one gonna produce the best looking looking piece of meat. So let me go ahead and close that, because if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Anyway, oh, let me show you this over here. Show my temps. Uh, see, I just took the top off uh, my meat. You see, this is the seven seven thirty three seven three seven thirty three model, the Ready Check Maverick. I got my 732 model, uh, the once again the Ready Check Maverick. Oh, uh, you see the temps, right? 41 degrees on the meat on one, and then 45 on the other. I'm going shooting for 200 degrees. Then I'm gonna pull them. These are the actual, my actual the, the units that are plugged in with the probes. See, I'm got them sitting over to the side. Uh, so just stand by and enjoy, y'all. We're gonna have a good time. I'll see y'all in about three hours. I'm not gonna touch it. None of that. Um, I put them in a brine. Tell you the brine was uh uh I'm gonna give you my secret apple cider vinegar a portion of that apple juice and water let it sit in out I did it uh overnight and it was ready to rock so I don't no need to inject them so I just put my secret sauce on there uh, on the outside well not sauce but a rub that included some apple cider vinegar ketchup um what else I think, oh brown sugar a little bit of brown sugar I ain't put too much because brown sugar will burn. Uh, anyway, we'll see what this bark looking like in about three hours, y'all. See y'all. What's up, y'all? We back. Been about three hours. About to check these uh, pork bucks real quick. Spritz them with my uh, secret ingredient. Uh, let's see what they look like. Three hours in. Oh, man. Hi, y'all. Yeah, that silver. This small spritz. Hmm. This had a three hour mark, y'all. You see the difference in one? I'm not even using water on that one. I got my water in the, uh, the Smoky Mountain Weber. 
like I got a, a decent bark coming on the uh, Kamado, not really on this, on the uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. But hey, it's only three hours. We're gonna see. We'll go ahead and close this top. Keep it going, cause we got a, a long night tonight. Get a little bit more. And we'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's up, everybody? We back, and uh, it's been about six hours. We're gonna show you a quick clip of the. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and show you right now before I spritz it. Uh, tell you what my temps is on the meat in a minute. Six hours into it. See that bark starting to form? I'll tell you the temps in a minute. Let me show you the look on this one. See the difference in the color? I don't know if you can tell. That one's more, a little more reddish than this one. Crazy. I'll go ahead and spritz my meat and then close the lid. Could be something to do with the water that I got in there. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and close my lid and I'll tell you the temps in a minute. All right, so this one's at 158 degrees. The Weber, it's at 158 degrees on the, uh, yeah, both of them, 156. That's crazy. Yeah. Hold on, I don't think that's right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 156. 156 and 124. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we're just going to let the smoke roll, man. I'm going to crank it back up, build my temp up on this one. It went down a little bit. I think it's at about 200. And then this one is steady climbing. So we'll be back in a little bit, y'all. Give me another three hours. All right, everybody. We're back. And it's been about, it's 9 o'clock now. I started at 104. It's been about eight hours. Uh, let me give you a look at this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them just because my temp's at about 165 ish. I think I hit my stall point for the longest. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them. I didn't want to, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap them because I need them done. So we're going to go ahead and wrap these. Take a look at the color. See the difference between the, the Weber and the. Uh, take a look again. That's a close up. Look at the texture on it. Versus this, same seasoning, same everything. I don't know, man. This Kamado look like it's doing the thing, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap them, and then I'm gonna come back once they're done, and I'm gonna take them out of the aluminum foil, you know, do the bone pull out, and uh, we're gonna see what they look like, man. Y'all do y'all comparison and let me know what you think. We we'll bet y'all when they're done. All right, back y'all barbecuers. We are back. I just pulled these out of the cooler. I got the. Uh, Topsy twins right here. I just opened them up just to pull the, the juice off of them. Don't you see how juicy these things are, man? This is crazy. Alright. So when I open this up, I want you guys to tell me what do you think? Alright. So the one on the left. It's from the Smoky Mountain Weber. The one on the right is from the uh, Kamado. And overall, they look pretty much the same. See the bone pretty much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll slide out. This one has a deeper, deeper, darker color. I think I kind of like the color of this. But the texture seems about the same. Let's go ahead and do the bone test on these. See what happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Slick, get that to the dogs later on. Look at that, oh yeah. Yeah, let me taste that, mm. Oh my goodness, woo, yes, yes. All right, let's see here. So we can get. Oh, let's break it open. Give you guys a look. Look at that hot. Look at the dark color, y'all. No, oh, this is going to be good. Ain't too much fat on there. Because I trimmed it all off. 
So we're gonna shred it up. Y'all see it? Oh man, look at that. Yeah. Just break this thing in half. Look at that. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right, so it took me about, I pulled them off about 11 o'clock. That was, uh, I put them on the one, 10 hour cook, 18 pounds of meat, two different grills, you do the math. Uh, we're gonna shred them up, and we're gonna devour these, man, today. Yeah, mmm, tasty. Anyway, this is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Doing it up, you see the texture. Smoky Mountain Weber, uh, Kamado. I think I like the Kamado on the texture of the outside, the bark. But overall, it looks well, even the internals of it. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll come back and we'll talk about it for a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, we back. Uh, got a Boston button here. About to put it on the ground to show you how to use the Porkinator. Porkinator. Actually, uh, got my little cordless drill right over. And we're going to see what this thing do. First time ever using it, y'all. Tell me what you think. First of all, this is a food safe bucket from Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. Got it from Home Depot. Got a whole bunch of them cheaper than buying the uh, the other ones. Anyway, let's see what happened, y'all. See if I can zoom in. Yeah, here's what it is. Let's see. Couple quick pulls. Done. Close up. There you have it. Pull port. I like this thing. Look at that. Two minutes of action. Tell me what you think, y'all. We're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna put this meat in the pan. And I'll be right back. All right, we back again uh, with the other pork butt. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in right quick. Give you a better view. Bear with me for a second. Uh, it won't let me zoom in, y'all. Yeah, let's see here. Maybe I can hold it up. Yeah, let's see here. Here we go. Tame a batter real quick. And I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Got some more action. Ain't nothing like having a spare. Look at that. All depends on how much texture you want in there. I'm good right here, y'all. Look at this. Fabulous pulled pork without all the hassle. Get you a porkinator, y'all. Get you a porkinator. 